Yeah, this video is a little bit of uh, just food for thought on shooting a handgun. Chamber's empty, no magazine. Um, kick around some ideas. One of the guys down here, um, he's not here this weekend, um, is, a, is a police officer and we'll kick around ideas. You know, his training with law enforcement and my training with uh, when I was in the Navy. And, you know, one of the things was like shooting positions or stances with a uh, handgun. You know, when I was in the Navy, you know, we basically were taught weaver stance, T stance, whatever you want to call it. And the way the police departments are typically trained, or at least his department is, is they do a straight on. And basically they do that for two reasons. Um, just pushing it straight out, you're more likely to put it on target and uh, rather than having to line it up shooting kind of side stance and you know I, I'm always thinking you know when I was taught you know you're a smaller profile with a weaver stance but you know with law enforcement they've got body armor and also if you do take a round you're only getting hit in probably just one organ Whereas if you were sideways, you know, you might get a heart and lung, multiple organs. So that's their theory for shooting straight on. And, you know, I was down here practicing, you know, you see these people in the movies shooting sideways. And theoretically, it's natural. You just, if you're pointing at something, you know, it's just natural and with a gun same way i tried it you know not using the sights and i couldn't hit a pie plate <laughs> from about 10 15 feet so whether i would actually use that or not I, I don't think so i think i'd rather just do the straight on and uh go with that so i'm gonna put in one magazine See if I can hit a pie plate. I'm not going to be aiming it directly, just more like just instinct shooting and uh, see how that goes. This isn't technical, it's just food for thought. And you know, one thing about it is you, if you need to shoot, you're going to shoot like you practice. And there's even a case where some law enforcement officers were in a gunfight, two of them died, and this was back when they were using service revolvers. And when they practice on the range, they were practicing and putting their empty brass in their pocket. So after the battle, the officers are dead, they found them with empty brass in their pockets. So they were shooting like they practice. So me personally, I don't like to practice the technical thumb over thumb, this and that. I like to shoot just however I'm going to shoot and I'm going to hit. Especially since I've got multiple rounds, I'm not going to pull the trigger once and see if you fall. <laughs> Hopefully I won't ever have to pull the trigger, for real, for real. So, those are a couple theories and things to think about when you're developing whatever technique and style you wish to use. So, take it for whatever it's worth and, uh, and have a little fun here. And that was without aiming. I got the pie plate a few times and uh, the rest were close. <laughs> so, you know, maybe waste a few more rounds. And uh, if you found this helpful, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.